Now, are, are, is the problem that you're in a denomination that's not in the New Testament? I'm, I'm Pentecostal belief. Okay, now, Pentecostal belief. Wouldn't you need a scripture given, I'm sure you all teach Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. If you're a Pentecostal believer, in other words, you have faith in the Pentecostal church, did you ever hear the Pentecostal church in the Bible? Yes. Where? A in Acts. There's no Pentecostal church in Acts. It talks about the apostolic belief. It talks about them speaking in tongues. It, it talks about getting filled with the Holy Ghost. It talks about an upper room. Do you worship in an upper room? I, I mean, that was them. That doesn't mean we got a full, you know, go, uh, go beyond that. Why did you take us back there then for the Pentecostal church? I, I'm just trying to figure out what are you doing back there? There's no Pentecostal church back there. As far as you talking about the way we worship? No, I asked you a specific question. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And I said, in the Word of God, where did you hear Pentecostal church? And you're substituting so, the... So, you're sitting up over here saying now that my faith is not... My, the church is, is, is not accurate. I'm saying to you that it's not biblical. Give us a verse that where you can actually turn to, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Give me a verse where you can turn to God's Word so that you should believe it for a Pentecostal church. And all of our listeners know, because Pat Robertson did a big expose on this back in the days when George Bush first became president, that the Pentecostal church started in 1901. Mm -hmm. So this church cannot be the Pentecostal church because this church started in A.D. 33. So... How is it that you could possibly be in the true church when yours didn't even start till 1901? Okay, because it didn't start. But okay, I don't. I don't. I, I can't even sit up over here and and go there. I know that y'all believe what y'all want to believe. I believe, you know, there is one God and one baptism. And you know, uh, as far as when it started, you know, in Whatever, whatever, I, I couldn't tell you, you know. Well, what if I give you a scripture? Can I give you a scripture? You're looking at Acts 2, and you know that the Holy Ghost came on those individuals there, right? Yes. All right. What if I give you a scripture that says that was the beginning? Okay. And I, as I begin Pretty, to... I know about Acts. I know about Acts 2. I okay, read that's the beginning of the Church of Christ. Okay, so... Okay, now where is the beginning of the Pentecostal church that you're believing in and that you're actually promoting and substituting in place of the church that we read about in the New Testament? Can you tell us where it is? But, but it also speaks in Acts 19 that uh, they, they spoke in other tongues. You don't, you don't teach about uh, speaking in tongues. Yes, I do. I think we're running right Yeah, yeah. Trends. Well, trends. now, but one thing, though, uh, our community is seeing that she's leaving one subject exactly. to move to another. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm not meaning to do that. Okay. I mean, right. that's not deliberately. Okay. Do you really speak in tongues, though? I mean, anything that you're going to go to, ma'am, we're going to have a scripture. And you didn't really have a scripture for speaking in tongues when you went to Acts 19. Why did you leave Acts chapter 2? Because Acts chapter 2 explains what tongues are. Do you really speak in a tongue? Like in the New Testament? Well, what I'm saying, I'm asking you, do you teach that? Is I, that, you know, when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you speak in tongues. Okay. That's what, what, that what, what it's taught. What, in wait a minute, belief. wait a minute, wait a minute. What the New Testament teaches is that when they spoke in tongues, it was, are you ready? It was the tongue of the Parthians, the Medes, the Elamites. And he goes through 15 different nations. Now, when your pastor speaks in tongues, what nationality actually can understand that tongue. That's a special gift too. Where is that, where is that found? A special person that Where, where can is that found? Wait a minute. Now, here we go again. You said that Dave and I are up on here talking about our own opinion, and you have not given a scripture for anything tonight. You wanted to go vague on tongues, and we brought you to what tongues really are. They are actually known languages, and you just said the word special. What if I look up in my concordance the word special tongues? Am I going to find well, that? Tongues are, this is a gift from God that comes from the Holy Ghost. Okay, and here's the definition of it. Now, where's your definition for special tongues? Would you give that scripture tonight? If you don't, we're going to let you go. Oh, I 
I mean, why are you being sarcastic? That's not sarcastic, ma'am. We've spent, how long do you think we spent with her? Probably 10 minutes. 10 me. minutes, and you have disrespected the true no, church. No, I have not disrespected you. Uh, no, I didn't say me. I did not say me. Ask Listen. people to call in. Listen, ma'am, I didn't say you disrespected me. I said you've disrespected the true church. You have tried to insert a false, man-made, 100 and... What's the math? 1901 to 2012? Right. Anybody do the math? Where's that little girl from Dallas? We're talking about 116 years, something like that. It's probably not right, but it's pretty close. 116-year-old church, let's just say 120, let's try to be safe. 120-year-old church for one that's 2,000 years old and has the blood of Jesus on it. You've tried to substitute Jesus' church with the Pentecostal church. Ma'am, you're disrespecting Jesus' church, and now you've gotten off on tongues, and we've shown you that it is, in fact, something that someone understood, and you said it was special, and now I'm sarcastic, and she hung up. Yep. I was about to let her have the last word. I just wanted okay. to go to 